Alright, right, zombies, great. I mean, all they do is shake his hand, I tripped and kind of punched him. In the neck. In the neck? I tripped. You sucker punched the president in the neck? You just love making me look like an asshole, don't you? You know, you should have been a tabloid journalist. Oh, screw you. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot that your subject both parents were killed by tabloid journalists. Ha ha. Where are we going anyway? Hear me out. You said we were gonna go play mini golf. <laughs> Respectfully, Professor. I can't actually believe you fell for that. I love mini golf. Yeah. Um, listen. There's this secret military oh, base. Please, not another bullshit website conspiracy. It's not bullshit. They're doing illegal scientific research. Turn the car around. Human experiment. Frank. Turn the car around. Frank! 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 <laughs> All the times we've talked after class, have I ever intimated that I wanted to return to Willamette? It'll be fine. You need to relax. Yeah, she says before the screaming starts. Ugh. You're the one who always says that I take crap photos on my phone. You do. So, who better to learn than from a world-class photographer? That's my camera. Yeah, it was hanging in your closet. Which was locked. Not very well. Listen, the source says body bags going in and out. Rumors of human trials, abandoned missile site? Come on, Frank. How can you say no to this? No. Frank. This is our chance. Please. All right, but well, I'm driving. What? No, this is my car. You are here to learn. Remember two minutes ago, this is my story. You were here to watch and learn how a real investigative journalist does his shit in the field. With nothing but his notes, his camera, and his fucking balls. You got it? Wow. Number two. Your source said illegal human experimentation, which means there may be some shit you do not want to see. Yeah? If that happens, you will stay cool. You will get the notes, I'll take the pictures, we'll get the story, and we'll get out. Okay. You want to break the story. You don't want the story to break you. Got it. Keep your eye on the prize, okay? All right. This goes well, you get the next one. Fist bump. Uh, no. Come on, just do it. I, I, no, I can't. Too cool for school, huh? I see. We got some work to do. Crazy old mofo. Physically, she's symptom-free. Now, that's a big improvement. Otherwise, no change. Why am I looking at this? We're not improving the treatment, we're perfecting it. What the client is expecting, it's... 
This is the type of project that requires a lifetime of research. Now, the progress you see is... If you can't meet the deadline, Doctor, you'll be replaced. Put this one with the others. I said, stay fucking calm. Now you put us both in danger. You're just gonna leave her? Just use her? We need to what? get out of here. Do you understand me? For your pictures? Your stupid pictures? I'm a reporter, Vic. That's what I do. I report. And if you can't do the same, if you can't take yourself out of the picture, then you should get the hell out of here. Oh, shit. Go, go, go. Yes? That depends. On? How will you work with others? Oh, well, shit, that's never been my strong suit. <laughs> Man, it's just kind of stuffy in here, don't you think? It's a little fresh air, you know? <laughs> It seems I have some time on my hands. What do you want to talk about? Uh, I know who you are. Colonel Brad Park, commander of the ZDC. I'm up on my zombie news, thank you very much. Of course you are. Well, then you also know that the ZDC's mandate is to respond to zombies on U.S. soil. Yes, and confine and silence anybody who knows the truth. Well, I'll up on it, thank you. It's happening again in Willamette. What is? An outbreak. I didn't see anything on the news. How long has it been going on? Going on six weeks now. Really? It's a long time to silence an entire town. Not for them. Who? The 
Pentagon. Oh, shit. What did you see there? You know what I saw. Nobody knows Frank. The only reason I found out is because somebody screwed up and passed me a top-level report. This reservist training center, I have yet to see anyone who's actually stationed there. All communications in and out of the town are gone. Now the satellite photos have been updated in four months. It is being covered up. But <clears throat> all that pales in comparison to the mystery of why you, Frank West, are teaching a goddamn night class instead of being two steps ahead of me on this. I quit. You quit? Yes, I quit. Do you know how many outbreaks I've been part of? How many I've covered? And what thanks have I got? Huh? Nothing. No thank yous, no flowers, just a contact book filled with dead people. National Headline Award 2006. You exposed the first zombie outbreak on U.S. So I photographed the whole thing. You got some medals, a few letters behind your name. Honorary, of course. Yeah, but let's get to the point. Three weeks later, I tried to expose the Pentagon and the entire U.S. government for their involvement with it, and they buried me! Because you didn't have sufficient evidence. You come with me to Willamette. We expose this bullshit. And you do it right this time. Frank. Frank, there's a lot more stake here than just one town. No. I'm out. Whoever breaks this, they're in for some big gains. Maybe even win back something. But actually, I'm surprised that you let an amateur rip this up from under you. What the hell are you talking about? This is one of your students, isn't it? Oh. Uh, uh, I think you... Whoops. <clears throat> Vic. you've assembled. Coming up on Willamette. Capture or kill, your discretion.